Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Steve Pierce, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show today. How are you? Good. Great. We get an opportunity to speak with Steve Kirst today. He's going to give us the story behind COVID-19 and the Early Treatment Fund. Okay, Steve, give us some details about, you know, this special discussion that you're having with, uh, as a tech entrepreneur. What do you have for us? Well, is it, I'm a problem solver at heart. And so when this COVID-19 problem arose, I basically started talking to scientists that I had been funding for the past 20 years uh, doing medical research and asked them, um, what could I do to make a difference? And they said to me two very clear messages. First is that drug repurposing is the fastest and the least expensive way to end the pandemic. And the second thing is that trials of the most promising drugs that could be repurposed for COVID were simply not getting funded. And I had a perfect example of that. Um, I, there are 20 experts in coronavirus in the world. I was able to talk to eight of them and I asked them the question, hey, if you got COVID, what drug would you take? And the number one response from these experts was Chemistat. And when I looked around, I found that there were no trials at all for Chemistat anywhere in the world. And so I saw a problem and I, I thought I could make a difference by actually funding those trials. I mean, the first one I funded personally, and then I started the COVID early 19 treatment fund to fund the, the uh, Chemistat trial in the US and to fund other trials. So we set up a, a, a website where scientists from all over the world can apply. And we've gotten over 58 grant applications and we've decided to fund eight of them that uh, passed our criteria of having a 75% reduction or more in the hospitalization and fatality rate. What about 15 drugs uh, uh, coming forth or being worked on as vaccines? Uh, where does Chemistat stand in, in that equation? Is it a drug to cure COVID-19 or is it a vaccine? Tell us where, what, what it actually is. Well, so there are a lot of people working on vaccines and vaccines will take a while before they're deployed and not everyone's going to get the vaccine and the vaccine's not going to work in everyone. And so it's really important that we have treatments and ideally we find a treatment that's specifically designed right for COVID. But that can take many, many years. And so the fastest way is to look for something that's, you know, on the shelf that we have available now that we can give to people that can dramatically uh, impact this disease and make it uh, uh, as innocuous as the common cold. And so that's what we're doing. And we've been very successful in finding at least one drug and we'll probably find more drugs uh, that can make COVID into a non-event for people. And you know these are drugs that are very easy for people to obtain. They're very low cost and they're easy to take. I want my audience to know today I'm speaking with Steve Kerr. She's the founder of COVID-19 Early Treatment Fund and has personally invested more than $1 million to launch this fund. Okay, so you say that uh, uh, this drug is in trial. Uh, how many people are in the trial? Are you looking for more people to join the trial or where are we? Sure. Um, you know, we're always looking for more people to join these trials and we have uh, uh, many trials that are going on. Uh, some of them have com completed and, and typically they'll enroll uh, somewhere between 100 and, and 200 patients in the trial. And then if it's successful, then they're going to be follow on uh, uh, trials uh, from there. The current administration has so confused the American public about uh, 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 drugs to take. First, they had hydroxychloroquine or something like that. And, you know, said take that and, and drink some bleach and take that. How do you think this is going to stand up to scrutiny when it comes out, when it's available? Because it looks like you've made a great investment. Is it going to yeah. fall into that just stupid category or is it going to fall into there's actually an answer here? No, when, when, when we uh, uh, publish the data for this, this will be in peer reviewed journals. And this will be, these are double blinded studies that are placebo controlled. They're randomized controlled trials. So it's the gold standard of scientific proof. And so we're not taking some study, very small study that was done by some scientists that was not on a, a, what's called an RCT study. This is the gold standard 
uh, study that will prove that these uh, drugs, in fact, do work. And the drugs that are effective, uh, remarkably, are not any of the drugs that people have heard about today. You've invested your own money in this, and I know you want to see this go forward. Are you more invested in the success of the drug, or you actually want to see us have an on-the-shelf drug that we can take for COVID-19? Uh, I'm interested in finding a, a drug that works for everybody because I want to get back and get my life back, um, get my, my social interactions back. I want to have uh, employment uh, skyrocket here. I want to reset back to normal as soon as possible. And so that's my motivation on this. And the drugs that we're talking about are by and large generic drugs. And so that's why there hasn't been a profit motivation for these drug companies to invest in this research. So that's why I'm investing in this research because nobody else is. I mean, there you are. I should say that there are other people investing in it, but it's important that we invest in the right drugs that are gonna make the biggest difference. How does the public get involved to uh, uh, help us move forward? Well, there are three ways that, that people can get involved to make a difference. Uh, we have a website, uh, treatearly.org. Uh, you can go there and make a donation. If you're a scientist, you can go there and apply for a grant. Um, you can tell your friends about the website on social media and hope that they will donate as well because we've raised three and a half million dollars uh, and uh, we still need about $17 million to, to complete the task. And the third thing that people could do is that if they do get uh, sick with COVID is to seek out a clinical trial in their area and enroll in that trial. Steve Kirsch, I thank you so very much for speaking on this topic in a very muddled landscape where we're trying to find some answers and being a voice of common reason. I really appreciate that. Sure, my pleasure. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.